everybody, it's me, Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of November 19th, and this is a busy week. We have got a lot of movement going on in these celestial bodies, so let's jump in and talk about it, okay? So first and foremost, right at the beginning of the week, here on Monday, November 19th, we've got Mars and Jupiter in a square. Now, here's the thing about a square. Remember, a square puts you under enough pressure that you will take an action to get out of the tension, right? You're trying to take crisis-based action, essentially, to get out of the conflict that it's created. Now, Mars is over in Pisces. We've got Jupiter in Sagittarius. I do love that both of these are actually very friendly energies, but the trouble that I see with them is that they both can be a little bit delusional, right? Sagittarius can be very grandiose. The story is bigger than it needs to be. <laughs> Pisces is just walking between those worlds, so things are not necessarily always clear. So one of the things I will tell you with Mars being our action planet, how we're doing things, pay attention this week and try to not take on too much because you'll think, oh yeah, I can just do that extra little thing. That's not a big deal. And it will end up consuming your time in a way that you did not mean for that to happen. So please be careful to not be too grandiose this week and take on more than your plate can actually happen, happen, handle. Now the good news about it is that I feel like if you've been trying to come to some spiritual resolution, creative resolution, um, expand something out creatively, something like that, this square could actually uh, very much so be in your favor. Not to mention that on Tuesday the 20th, we've got the sun in a really nice trine with Chiron. So this is again a, an out pouring of healing energy. So I think between the square and this trine, this is a really nice setup for creativity, um, for vision, for open-mindedness, and some action towards all of those things as well. Now, here's the other thing that I want you to think about. We've got on Thursday the 22nd, we have got um, We've got the sun here in Sagittarius, right? This is a very open-minded travel adventure. So you could be traveling, so that's fun too. Travel some, adventure some energy. It's very optimistic. It's also seeking the truth though. It's an information gathering and sharing energy, which having this be Thanksgiving in the United States, how fun is that? You could be being social. You know, you're coming back together with Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving or family or whatever that looks like. Um, so it creates an atmosphere of conversation that I think is a lot, brings a lot of healing to the table this week. Now we've also got this full moon happening on the 22nd as well in Gemini. So this is bringing conversation to the table. New thinking, new ideas. That full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. And in the energy of Gemini, it's networking. So it's relationships, right? It's conversation, communication, decision making, thinking. So you're going to get an adjustment to your thinking. And I think it's based on relational interactions this week, which could be really great. Now, something else I was thinking of too, with just this being, you know, because we've got Neptune changing direction this week as well. And with Neptune coming direct on the 24th, instead of still being retrograde, I just feel like this is a week of let shit go. Forgiveness, 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 compassion, creativity. There's an air this week in this season that is very, very forgiving. And it is also an energy this week, you guys. I think where you have to be very forgiving is with yourself, right? Like you've got to just, there's got to be a little breath of woo-saw beginning to happen here. Now, the other part of the Neptune coming direct and the full moon and Gemini energy that I think is beautiful is that Neptune is here and in your Gemini energy, you're thinking, you're communicating, you're creating things, but they're all in this um, spirit space, right? It's a very creative kind of reach through the world's energy place. And as Neptune comes direct, you're able to bring it moving forward into more concrete reality. So if it's a creative idea, if it's something with children, elderly people, whatever, whatever your natal horoscope really says will show you exactly what you're going to be able to pull concrete down, but something can become concrete and tangible, okay? Now, as we get to Sunday, the 25th, we've got the sun and Jupiter in a conjunction, and I love this. I love love this energy. Sun-Jupiter conjunction is very bright. Um, it brings a, a, a very general sense of just happiness, well-being. I'm telling you, this is a week where 
if you've needed some healing, you've needed to just drop your shoulders down, take a deep breath, get ready for December, this is a beautiful week of general well-being out in the world. It makes it, makes it feel like things are going to be okay, which in the end, things are going to be okay, right? So really beautiful week. Um, lots of expansion, lots of availability for compassion and forgiveness happening this week. Some creativity. Turn that music up. You know, the weather outside is frightful. We need some of that in our life this week. And if you are not in the United States, if you do not celebrate Thanksgiving, if that's not what you got going on, I would just like to extend a greeting, a blessing, a happiness to whatever it is that you celebrate during this part of the season and in all of the days and weeks moving forward, okay? All right, you guys, if you are needing slash wanting to go over your natal chart, if you're not understanding where these placements are, what does this mean? How does this play out for you? Come sit down with me. Let's do a natal chart reading. Let's go over this so that you can get some understanding of how these energies are working in your world and your chart. Even if you only ever understand them in a very vague way, at least you'll know your energies and your chart. So that way nobody can tell you some ish over there, right? <laughs> All right, you guys have a phenomenal week. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week, okay? Bye.